One of my favorite features of having a smartphone is being able to walk over here at the end of the day and just drop my phone down on my wireless charging pad. And now with the Samsung Duo wireless charging pad, I can also just drop my watch down as well. Well, this has worked really great for a year or so, but sometimes I find that I don't put my watch in the right place and it doesn't charge properly, or even if I sit my phone down, I don't get it in the exact spot. And now we're having more and more devices, so like if I have my wireless earbuds, there's no place to charge those. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new wireless charger from Samsung called the Wireless Charger Trio. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So this is the Wireless Charger Trio. It's able to charge uh, two devices and a watch. So this is great to charge your phone, a pair of wireless earbuds, and then a watch. And you can also uh, interchange these. So if you wanna charge two smartphones on this at once, you are able to do that. And this does support nine watt fast wireless charging. Now, if you have an iPhone, they only support up to 7.5 watts, but uh, if you have a compatible device, it will work as well. Over here on the side, it also mentions that it does have LED dimming mode that will automatically adjust the lights in the dark so that they're not super bright. One thing that I really like about it is if you have a Galaxy watch and you place it on the watch pad, it has magnets to line it up so it's easier to place it and so that you get that alignment right and the charging begins. All right, so there it is. I really like how slim this is um, compared to the other pad where here it has the little angled charging pad. I like how it's all flat and all in one. Now one thing about this is it does have six different coils built in. So you could place your device pretty much anywhere on here without having to uh, line it up exactly and it will begin charging. So that's pretty much uh, the device there on the back is where you're going to plug into the power cord and then right here on the front is where you have the charging LEDs per location. So there are three different spots. It will show red if it's charging, it will show a flashing red if there's an air, and it will show green if it is charged. And then here in the box, we have a 25 watt super fast charging power brick with a one meter USB-C cable. So let's go ahead, plug this in and try it out. And here you can see the trio on the top and the duo power cable on the bottom. All right, so now that we have it plugged in, let's go ahead and drop my Note 20 on here. And then let's test out the Galaxy Watch Active 2. So you can definitely feel that it helps align. You can see that right there, how it kind of slides into place uh, when I drop it down there with the magnets. And then here we have our Galaxy Buds Plus. And so there you go. All three are charging just like that. You can see the red lights right here works no problem. Now I'm curious, can you charge more than that because of the six coils? All right, so it's now only charging on this one. So yeah, it can only charge three devices at once. There are my Pixel Buds, charge, and no issue. Again, let's drop down the Galaxy Buds Plus. Now for me, this is able to charge the entire ecosystem at once. So I can charge a phone, uh, buds as my watch. This would also be a good device to place in a high traffic area. Maybe you have um, visitors, they can easily drop down their devices on here, charge them up while they are visiting. And so it just makes it nice that you have more devices that you can charge all in one. Now when you do charge two phones at once, so here I have my Pixel 5, the charging speed is going to slow down a bit here on both these devices just because it takes more power to charge phones versus like uh, Pixel Buds or Galaxy Buds. So it's still gonna work. I usually leave my phones here on the wireless charging pad overnight and I don't really have any issue doing that so I'm not concerned about it charging a little bit slower. But if you want a faster charge, just remove one device and only have it on there. And here you can see right on my always on display, it says I'm currently at 45%. It's charging and it's going to take an hour and 28 minutes until it's full. So yes, this is fast wireless charging, but it's still not as fast as being plugged in with a cable. So if you want the fastest way, do that. But uh, if you don't need to go anywhere quickly, the wireless charging pad is really great. So let's see if this time adjusts if I put down another device on here. So I have my Pixel on there now. 
Here the pixel is saying it's at 73% and then it's gonna take three hours until it is charged where the Samsung phone is charging much faster. But let's remove it, put it back on, see if that changes. Okay, so it's still showing the hour and 27 minutes until it's full. Now the charging times are going to vary depending on what device you have. I think if you have anything before a Galaxy S10, you're not gonna have as fast charging. And then it also doesn't support the LED dimming feature. So let's go ahead and test out what it looks like when it dims at night. Now to enable this feature, we're going to head into the settings of our Samsung phone. We're going to scroll down to device care. And then under here, we're going to tap on battery. And then we're going to tap on charging down here at the bottom. And then the very last option here is fast wireless charging and you have the option to turn it on and off. So here, if we tap on it again, it gives us a few more options. And then here it says that you can actually schedule fast wireless charging. Uh, when you turn off fast wireless charging, it's going to reduce fan noise and it's also going to enable the dim LED feature. So here at the bottom, you can turn on a schedule. So let's say when I put my phone on the charger at 10 p.m., I don't need the fast wireless charger, so it's going to turn it off until the morning where it will turn it back on. Now it will only dim the LEDs if you have a Samsung phone that is S10 or newer and fast wireless charging is off. So here you can see the red and the green light indicating that my phone is charging. And then there you can see that it dimmed the light. So it's not quite as bright. And that's really nice because at night when it's pitch black, some of these LEDs end up being quite bright. So it's great that it dims it because it's nice to have the lights on there all the time. And then for my Galaxy Buds case, I could have just flipped it around so you don't see the LED. And then just whenever you put your phone on and fast wireless charging is off, the lights actually dim pretty quick. So one thing I really like is I don't have to really decide if it's in the right location or not. I can just set it down anywhere and it will begin charging. Let's try it out in some more spots. Pick it up, drop it down, and it charges. That's just really cool how you don't have to have it perfectly aligned. As long as it's on the pad, it will work. Okay, so I'm off the pad, it's not working. There you go almost fully on the pad and it works. Now let's talk about the Galaxy Watch area. So this is designed to work with Samsung Galaxy devices. So this charging pad is Qi wireless charging. So any device should work, but none of my other buds or anything would work on here. Now, another thing you need to know is an Apple Watch would not work on this. And I think that's why they say it's made specifically for Galaxy watches just so you are not confused, but I really, really like the magnets here, how it's able to quickly align it into the right place. I think that's gonna solve a lot of the problems I've had in the past where I just couldn't get it to fit properly. So far, placing this on with the magnets has been really great. Now, of course, the biggest benefit of this is it's going to charge three devices at once. So if there's ever a time where your phone, your Galaxy Watch, and your buds are low, you can just drop them all on at the same time and it will charge them up in no time. Now, if you are having any issues with wireless charging, a few things to check. So Samsung says you can use a case that's three millimeters thick. So here um, with these cases, there have been no problem. But if you use something like a pop socket here, we try and put it on the wireless charging pad, it's just simply not going to work. So we would need to find another case or take it off for it to work. And so that is pretty much it. That is the wireless charging trio from Samsung. It definitely solves the issue of me having too many devices that need to be charged at night. It can do it all on one device. Now, the only thing that I would like to see changed is a little bit longer of a cable. Even here uh, with my dresser, the outlet's a little bit far away, so it's hard to put this exactly where I want it to be. Um, but other than that, I think it's going to be the perfect device. Now, I do wanna mention that if you have a device that is not Qi wireless compatible, then it's not going to work. So some of those devices are an Apple Watch. You are not able to get an Apple Watch and put it here on the watch charging place because it just isn't going to work. I've also used some tick watches in the past as well that don't support that. So if you need that, you'll still have to have a separate charger for it, but this will cover anything that is Qi wireless charging compatible. 
So if you guys have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna pick one up, I'll leave a link to it in the description and you can find the latest pricing down there. And if you wanna see more devices that are wireless charging compatible, make sure you check out the playlist over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.